Welcome to our lecture online and here's our second video about solutions. Here we're going to talk about the six types of solutions and you may say wow six types of solutions really? Yeah that's kind of what I said when I saw that but no there are six types of solutions. The one that we're typically of course familiar with is when we have a uh, solid in a liquid so this is one of the main types and then perhaps also when we have a liquid to a liquid so we can imagine adding one liquid to another liquid so we typically think about solutions when we add one liquid to another liquid or a solid to a liquid those are the main types of solutions that we typically deal with in chemistry but yes there's four others for example we have gas gas solutions yes gas is considered a solution it's a gas solution it's not a liquid solution and so when we mix gases together we have a gaseous solution a good example of that, of course, is the air that we breathe because we have all kinds of gases mixed in with the air. Uh, typically, of course, primarily, I should say not typically because it would be bad if it was not, it was atypical. Uh, but uh, primarily we have oxygen and nitrogen as the primary constituents of the air. And of course we have argon and carbon dioxide and all kinds of other gases in the air. And so you can see that's actually a mixture. You take a sample of gas here, you take a sample of gas there, and it'll have the same concentration of each of the gases, so it's homogeneously mixed. Yes, that's called a solution. We can also have a gas and a liquid. For example, we can actually dissolve gases in liquids. Carbon dioxide dissolves in liquid, oxygen dissolves in liquid. So yes, we can have those kind of uh, solutions, those kind of mixtures of those kind of solutions. So for example, carbon dioxide uh, in in uh, water would be a good example of one of those solutions. Okay, next, gas and solid. Wow, so you can actually have gas dissolved in solid, and the answer is yes. Now that's not as typical, but yes, it does happen. For example, we can have hydrogen gas that's dissolved in palladium. So that's something that we don't deal with a lot in chemistry, but yes, it exists, and it is, you know, even though it's not typical or common, it does exist and we do have to study that somewhat. Of course, liquid and liquid, that, that's an obvious uh, uh, situation. Uh, for example, when we mix ethanol in water that mixes, dissolves, you cannot tell the difference at all. The mixtures, they kind of combine, so it's not like you have one sample of the solution where there's mostly ethanol, another sample solution where it's mostly water, it all be mixed together homogeneously. So ethanol in water is, would be a good example of that kind of mixture. And of course, what is ethanol in water? That is drinkable alcohol, and of course, that would be an alcoholic beverage, would be ethanol in water. How about solid and liquid? Well, that's of course one of the more common ones. That's when we dissolve solids and liquids. The most common one, of course, is salt in water. And then, of course, we also can dissolve sugar in water. Now, sugar doesn't dissolve as readily as salt, and so it may take a little bit more agitation, but eventually, yes, when we stir it around, uh, definitely sugar will dissolve in water, um, just like salt will. And then we have solid and solid solutions. Wow, that's actually a hard thing to swallow when you think about solid and solid mixed together and call them a solution because, of course, a solid is a solid. But it ter turns out that uh, when, we take, uh, when we make alloys, for example, when we make steel or when we make brass, those are homogeneous mixtures. With other words, you take one piece of steel and another piece of steel that was made at the same time, and it'll have the same quantities of each of the metals, each of the alloys as we call them, that, um, or I should say not alloys, constituents of the alloy, that's a better way of saying it. So when we make steel, actually what we're doing is we're mixing like uh, iron and carbon together, plus probably some other elements, but primarily iron and carbon, and that then makes steel. And uh, we do that in big furnaces. And uh, so typically you, you mix them in a liquid state and then you let them solidify. Brass is typically a mixture of copper and tin. And again, you do that in liquid state and then when you solidify them, of course, it's a homogeneous mixture of the two. So we call that also a what we call a solution. That typically, of course, once in the solid state, it's hard to think about something like that being a solution. But nevertheless, we have to consider all six types. Of course, we'll concentrate on these two, but we'll take a look at all six types to get a feel of what those are and how they really work and, and the chemistry of when those two interact and why they interact the way they do. So, we'll do that in the next so many videos.